Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can update your Mac operating system to the Mac OS Catalina version. So before updating your Mac operating system to the Mac OS Catalina, make sure that you have backed up your data using Time Machine into a hard drive. So uh, let me show you how you can do that. You can just click on your Apple icon and then click on uh, system preferences and once you click on system preferences you will be able to uh, see this time machine so you need to have a empty hard drive in order to back up your data using time machine and i have created a whole video about it how ca you can back up your data using time machine so you can watch that video you will be able to see uh, that uh, right now at the time of making this video also my data is backing up using this Time Machine app into my hard drive. And once you have made sure that you uh, have backup of your Mac operating system data uh, using Time Machine or in any other form, then we are ready to uh, just update our Mac operating system to the latest version that is Catalina. So for that, once again, you can uh, go to System Preferences window here. Once again, you can uh, just click on the system preferences window, which is going to open uh, the same pre system preferences window. And this time you need to click on this option, which says software update. So I'm going to just click on this option, which says software update, and it's going to check for the updates. So it's going to take some time. So after some time, as you can see uh, that uh, this update shows that Mac OS Catalina is available and it will take around 8.23 GB. And if you want to uh, see more information, then click on more info uh, link here, which is going to show you more information about uh, this version. So once you have made your mind that you want to update uh, to the Mac OS Catalina, then you just need to click on the upgrade now button, which is going to start the upgrade. Now it depends on the speed of your internet and the speed of your Mac operating system, how much time it will take. So as you can see, I have a very slow internet connection. So it's showing me such a big time. So I will uh, leave uh, my uh, PC for some time for uh, this download and update to complete. So after waiting for some time, now I can see that uh, the update for the Mac OS Catalina is now downloaded and installed on my Mac operating system. And I see this window, which says Mac OS Catalina. To set up installation of Mac OS Catalina, click continue. So I'm going to click continue here. And now it's going to show us this license terms and conditions. So if you want to read this license terms and conditions, you can read it. And if you agree with those license terms and conditions, just click on agree. So just click on this button which says agree and then click on the button which says agree. And now I can see the next window which says Mac OS Catalina will be installed on the disk Macintosh HD. So that's okay for me. This is my primary uh, drive and I'm going to just click on the install button now. At this point, you just need to give your Mac OS password which is your mac os current password so i'm going to provide that password and then click on ok and now i will wait for some time so you can see it says about 13 minutes remaining so uh, it might take uh, more than that you can see this time is always changing it depends upon the hardware of mac os which you are using and also on the internet speed. So just wait for this process to complete. So now after some time, I can see this window. So it says, click restart to install Mac OS Catalina. Your computer may restart more than once during the installation. So at this point, I just need to click on this restart button. So let's click on the restart button. So now it says uh, close other applications. So I'm going to close those other applications also, which is going to restart my Mac operating system. After I restarted the PC and logged into my Mac operating system, I see this window which says 
help Apple app developers to improve their products and services automatically. So at this point, I don't want to share any analytics. So I will uh, just click on continue without checking any checkbox. If you want, you can check all these checkboxes. So I'm going to just uh, click on continue here. And now on the second screen, I have this uh, screen time, which says get insight about your screen time and, uh, and set limits for what you want to uh, manage. So for this also, I'm going to just say set up later. And at this point it says improve Siri and dictation. All these settings you can do uh, later also. That's why I'm not doing all these settings. And now it says setting up your Mac. So now I have restarted my Mac operating system after the update. And now let's check which version of uh, Mac OS I have. So I'm going to just click on my Mac Apple icon and then click on about this Mac and now you can see my Mac operating system has been updated to Mac OS Catalina. This is how you can update your Mac OS to the latest version of Mac OS Catalina. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.